multi-platform stream. Um, to check and see what's going on here with my okay. That doesn't sound pleasant, but I guess that's just how how it is. All right, so uh, this is Thexter. This is a uh, game, Sierra Online. I was not aware that they uh, they were programming for the the uh, the Coco. It looks like um, something's going on with my joystick. So let's check this out here. Hmm. Hey, Pixels. How's it going, man? Have you had a good Saturday? Maybe this is a Joystick 2 ordeal. Sometimes they... Oh, yeah, but this is what, what has happened here. How do I... Hmm. Well, we're off and running. This is the sort of thing that I always tell myself, self, why don't you just set this up before you start streaming? And I, I get no, all right. We may just use the keyboard. Uh, what's my fire here? Space, okay. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I, uh, I plan on booking my Amiga Iron flights. Uh, well, I was going to book them today, but I uh, had several things on the docket. I um, went to uh, went to Bible study this morning, and then went to my Iaido class. And then uh, instead of coming home for a respite, I got right back in the car and uh, went to the Hurricane Community Band Veterans Day concert. Uh, so I'm the assistant director of the Hurricane Community Band, and uh, my presence was required as I played trombone, trumpet, and tuba on various pieces. But the concert was good. We had quite a few veterans show up, and uh, so I was happy about that. This is weird. I don't know if that was a glitch or what that was. I'm also not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing in this game. Can you guys see my... Okay, just want to make sure you couldn't see my cursor. I know that's annoying. Hey, BarkBit! Welcome! Well, those are the achievements that matter. Okay, I, I am getting points for blowing these things up, which leads me to believe that that's what I'm supposed to be doing. If you press let's see let's experiment here if we press down and fire you morph into that although I'm not sure what that gives you oh I guess when you when you touch the ground that's your cue to go back to normal how are you barkbit Okay, so I guess you've got limited time as you're jet in jet mode. Oh, I see. Maybe you're supposed to uh, go into jet mode to uh, traverse down through here, which is kind of challenging because as soon as you hit the ground, hmm, nothing wrong with a bit of laundry. I always enjoy laundry time because it means, well, I've got to sit here and wait for this laundry to get done. So I might as well, like, play a game or watch some YouTube or something like that. Laundry was less fun in the days when I had to go out of my domicile to uh, get it done. Especially poor was when I was at Sheffield. And uh, the laundry area was quite a hike from where I was living. And uh, it was no good versus when I lived in... Um, 
dorms in my undergrad, the laundry facility was in the building itself, not in a adjacent location. Oh boy. Well, that's the end of that. It's a very weird game. Dexter. You, your, your, your energy beam hones in on your enemies, which is useful. Oh, lava. Ah. It is like 8-bit Turrican. You're right. Without the rock and soundtrack and the multitude of uh, weapons. The thing I loved about Turrican was that, like, turning on your, sp your, your gun that's like a, a hose and just moving your stick all around. That was awesome. But again, it's like, what, you know, what am I, what am I doing here? Besides just dying. Run away! <laughs> it's, it's one life to live here in Dexter Town, too. Sometime, um, maybe later tonight, actually, I, maybe I'll give uh, Super Turrican a, a shot on the, uh, on the Super Nintendo. I'm not sure. I think Super Turrican might have been the same game as Turrican 3 on the Amiga, but I'm not sure about that. Are you really, Barkbit? That's pretty awesome, man. How come you have not shown any pictures of this on the Discord? That's what Discord is for. Ah. I want to escape. Yeah, see? Can't catch me now, huh? Now I can pick you off at my leisure. Oh yeah, you're right, uh, Curtis. Maybe I uh, need to, um, let's see, where is the, uh, you think a soft reset will get me in? No. That seems to be the same. video RGB oh yeah you're right that does look a lot better Curtis <laughs> thank you I don't know it actually moved the location of my window when I did that yeah looks a lot better now huh so I'm guessing was this a, uh, a Coco 2 uh, or a Coco 3 only title, Curtis? Or uh, was this on the Coco 2 as well? It's got a very vibrant color palette. It's much better playing it this way. Thank you for turning me on. The enemies move very strangely. It's like they, they stick to the walls until they detect you. And then it's go time. Oh, come on. Oh, I guess I do have a... Although your jump is large, it is not infinite. That sounds good, Barkbit. Which glitched images are you talking about, uh, Curtis? Are the glitched shapes? Oh boy, I'm being overrun. Curtis, if you could explain what Nitro, Nitros, Nit Nit OS Nine, can you just tell me what that is? I don't, I don't, I don't understand what it is and how it works. 
and how it integrates with the Cocoa. Look at this. I'm using my powers for good. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. That was, oh man. Once you get trapped, I mean, it's game over, man. Okay. You're right, Barkbet. It's hard to be fashionable in the footwear department and also be a productive alien fighter. All right. Oh, I see what you're talking about. The glitches as your ship turns. These things right here. That's That was fixed in the... Uh... How do you say it? Knit OS 9? Is that right? Or is it Nitos 9? They do have, yeah, this is, it's a Lego world. It's like James Brown said. Nitro S9, okay. I'm sure that will be useful later on as we, as we talk about that on the show. Is there on your um, on your site, um, Curtis? Is there uh, an archive or somewhere online? Because you know I have the Toset collection here of um, of Coco stuff. Is there? A, do you run? How do you install um, Nitro S9 on? Oh boy, jeez, ah, on the uh, on the Coco? Are you running a, a disk image and then you run stuff on top of it? Okay, well, I think, uh, correct me, I mean, am I, this is, this is it, this is the game, I'm pretty sure, um, I'm, I'm doing a poor job with it, but I'm not exactly sure, you've got nmax 100, whatever that means, okay, I've triggered something, because I'm, I see a countdown timer here. Yeah, see? What happens when we get to the end here? Shields off. So, okay. I guess the A button gives you shields. Am I, am I invulnerable now? Okay, yeah. So that's, that's how that works. Okay, so my energy is at full max. And I'm just negotiating these... Um, these Lego based uh, hallways here. Ooh. Oh boy. I don't know why my, uh, my stick quit working on me. Let me look and do another try with this thing here. Yeah. I don't know what I did to make it work before. But it is not working now. Hmm. It's a high res joystick interface. Hey John, how's it going, man? I was having such good luck with the uh, 
the stick earlier in my Coco adventure. Of course, um, I'm really looking forward to playing this. All the Coco games on real hardware. That's the ultimate goal. And uh, I'm just waiting on Ed to uh, email me back with the, uh, the equipment that I need to buy from him. I've already got the joystick adapters already set on there. So what exactly does the Nmax do for you, your, your, your energy? Um, okay, I'm going to have to explore that later on because I'm sure there'll be some uh, nitros Nitress. I gotta scroll back up to see how to say it right. Nitro S9 stuff to be looking at. This is this is. Now that's even tinier there. It's like ultra tiny ship guy. Oh, okay. I see. So 100 100 percent is the baseline. Now getting higher in max. What does that do for you, though? Oh, geez. Nope, I can't get through it. Uh, I think we are, Barkbit. Um, there's there's a lot of people that are saying a lot of bad stuff about uh, YouTube. A lot of scary things have been happening. People's entire Google accounts being banned um, because some loser got in the chat and started saying dumb stuff. Um, and of course, you know, we as us have no control over what you guys say in the chat. So um, YouTube is just getting too big, too fast. They, they're struggling with how to co cope with all the people that are streaming. And it's really a mess. It's really a mess. Oh, okay, that's a good way to think about it. Thanks, Curtis. Just drop. There we go. That's right, Pix. You're the man. The chat man. You wave the ban hammer of destruction. Ah! Come on. Shield on, please. Yes, this is on uh, this is on Mame, and that is the end. That is the end. Well, that was that was that was interesting. I'll have to ponder my thoughts on on Dexter some more. But it's time to move on to a little game called. Well, I'll uh, I'll reveal it shortly. We're gonna unmount that. I'll go to. Uh, <laughs> That's right. And guys, if any of you like Picard and um, Picks, uh, if you guys want to, uh, feel free to use the custom emote. And if anybody would like to send me an idea for a custom emote, we are. I don't. We're we're pretty. I think we're we're not close to getting a second custom emote yet. But if there's if there's one you guys would like to use, um, that's the one that I made there. Um, but uh, if there's a if there's a better one that you can think of, I'd love to have multiple. Um, but I think we have to have more uh, more folks uh, subscribing to get more custom emotes. So 
moving on to a game that is not a ROM file. So it's weird. I could have sworn that I had an option for disks, but all I see is cassette, cartridge, and hard disk. I don't have a hard disk file, so we'll, we'll try and do it through cassette. Yeah, that's not going to give us what we want either. Oh, it appears that I don't even have this uh, at all. Yeah, this is MAME, John. It's uh, actually mess, you know, running on, on top of MAME. Um, looking for Time Pilot. Or Time Bandit, rather, I apologize. Anybody have a download link to Time Bandit? No, it doesn't, um, John. I I thought that that would be the case, but in for whatever reason, uh, in Mess, it's it's not bringing up that that friendly menu. Uh, there is you you select your controls through a drop down. Um, but my joystick is not interacting with that drop down, so I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, Time Bandit, Curtis. That's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Yeah, I could have sworn that, um, let's see, what is the name of the, um, oh, here we go. Let's try this out, see what happens here. But the Games Master, the Coco Games Master cartridge in. Give it a hard reset, see what happens. Nothing. I don't know how you get that to run. Oh, it's a sound card? Okay. Yeah, I think, you know, I'm using this, uh, this mess GUI. Um, and, um, it's, 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 it's cool when it works, but I don't know what's going on with it. All right. And I also don't know what happened to my my floppy disk um, here. And I don't see in my slots. I guess that would be there anyway. D Deb okay, the ECB ROM. See, I, I had all this. I was loading discs like nobody's business last time I did this. So I don't know what I've done. What I've done to deserve this. Uh, let's see. Let's just try it again. Nothing. No, I mean nothing. I, I've literally not touched anything since the last time I uh, I used this 
this machine, this virtual machine. So, and I've got VCC on here, but it won't, it also, it doesn't offer floppy support. Um, that's a good question. Uh, I've got, I don't know, a, a ton. <laughs> uh, uh, I'd say I probably have about 200 uh, here. And they're all, they're all ROM, ROM files. Um, I just don't know what would happen to cause this thing to stop working. Or I mean, to make my, um, if I go into my MAME folder, and then into MAME GUI, or MSGUI, my ROMs, And what is the name of that ROM? Um, okay. I see what you're saying. Mount up to four ROMs. One needs to be the disk ROM, DECB. Okay. So if I if I enable the the multi pack, well now uh, now it's just completely crashed on me. I can't wait to get my real Coco 2. So yeah, that, that just totally crashed and burned on me. Start again. I guess it's possible that something has gotten corrupted because now, um, now MES GUI is just, it's just dying. I, I mean, it, It's an exciting stream. Okay. One more time. I think I might have messed something up maybe when I was trying to select different things in the slots. That's the only thing. I mean, this thing now is, is crashing as soon as I try and load the, the core or the ROM. So I'm going to have to look at Time Bandit a little bit later. Um, sorry guys, but the good news is that there's still tons of stuff to play, including the next game, Heimdall. Alright, I'll give that a shot. That's not what we want at all. All right, guys, I'm going to have to just do this later. We're moving on. We're moving on to Heimdall.
Congratulations, Pixels. I am super, super excited about Amiga Ireland. I was a little bit excited last year, um, but I was also like mega scared. Um, so this year I'm, I'm full on. The excitement is full on. Uh, let's go ahead and change my window here. And that is not what we want. Let's try this one. No, I don't want to skip the intro. Why do I have... Okay. No. I want to see this in all its glory. Yeah, Pixels, you need to get on that not being sick thing. Hold on. Hold on, Heimdall. So he also created the Earth. Oh yeah. We're already kicking off with some rocking tunes too. Ooh. Spinning the Earth on my fingernails. <laughs> oh, Heimdall. Up to no good as always. Ragnarok, I knew that from Marvel. That music's probably not loud enough. Let's crank it up a little bit. Sorry, my chat window is going insane on me here. Pixels, you were briefly unmodded and then modded again. This looks really good. Very good drawings. Odin was pleased. Yeah, he was. He loved it. Awesome picks. Yes, I would think so. I would think so. Let's, we gotta, we're going a whole hog, Heimdall and the attribute sections. What are you talking about, John? This is a totally legit copy of Heimdall. 
purchased from the Heimdall Emporium. Okay. I don't know what that was. Oh, okay. So this is this is the old tried and true Norwegian traditional uh, pig grabbing game. My time is up. This is not going the way I expected. Got it. Out of the way, post. Have you been part of a, uh, a greased pig uh, celebration, John? Or not celebration, competition? Okay. Ah, okay. Makes sense. Okay, I want to be Yemma the shipwright. Oh, okay. I guess I can be all these guys. Oh, okay. I was supposed to be using my uh, joystick, and I was not. So, that was probably not good for my uh, overall character attributes, my inability to throw the axe. Alright. Guys, I'm sorry. I do need to take a quick break to use the restroom. Um, I'm going to turn down the game volume so you do not go insane. But I will be back very shortly. Okay, it's full on Heimdall time now. Okay, oh, I do want to turn game music back up. Okay, so clicking on that doesn't do much. All right.
That is true, Pix. I do appreciate that. So it looks like I don't really have much to do here. Let's set sail. Um, okay. I'm guessing that, oh, this is my ship. Okay, and now we move back to the stick. Heimdall. I am Heimdall. I press many pressure sensitive plates on the floor. Which one was? Ah, oh, shoot. So again, or right off the bat, you've got to be taking notes. Or you've got to have a better memory than what I do. That makes sense. I mean, it seems like something a Viking would do. Okay. So this one and this one. I just need the middle one. Which I think is this one, right? No, that takes them all away. Okay, this one, that one, and this one. What? What about this very end one over here? I bet he could jump that if he really wanted to. Come on, Heimdall. All right, that didn't. That was not conducive. I'm just waiting on this one to come back. They don't seem to be moving. Okay, that one takes them all away. Do they get, do they come up as I approach them? Okay. Okay. I think I'm starting to understand how this works. So, okay. They're all up right now. Okay. This one. No. That one. Yeah. No kidding. Uh, anguish Hauteur. Or, yeah. Anguish Hauteur. Hello, and let it be known that if you know this, this, the solution to this puzzle, please um, inform me. So uh, this is where I was before. Is it this one? No. Hmm. What if I come all the way up here? That's it. I did it. Heimdall! What's up? Cutscene. Ooh. Do you wish to run? No. Hmm. 
Oh, I see. Again, not the most intuitive thing in the world, putting those down there. No, I don't want to run. I'll attack you. So you're just hovering over the attack? Or do you click on... Fist. Sword! 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 Heimdall's almost dead. Yemma, get in there. Axe! Axe! Oh, okay. Oh, this is this is not cool. Okay. So you gotta hit axe, attack, axe, sword, attack, sword, attack. Agir, get in there. Dagger him. Where's my spells at? I don't got any spells. I'm caught on the ropes now. Where's my hotkeys? Oh, no. Heimdall, you're my only hope. It's a shame about the god's weapons. It's a shame about that sound effect. All right, let's try these attribute sections again. Yeah, yeah. No, we will be using the save game picks for sure. Oh boy. I could have gotten icy. I miss got him that's right attributes you're all mine now Oh, oh, that was the end of that. Okay, get him, the warrior, the navigator. Druid. <laughs> That's right. It's a direct line from Heimdall right to Tomb Raider. Okay. Let's see if we can do this more quickly this time. This one. I thought that one was involved. Okay, we know it's that one. No, it's that one. It's always this one that got me. It's that one. This one. Is 
Is it this one? Or is it that one? I think it's this one. No! That one. This one. This one. I don't think that's the best way to do it, but we did it. Okay. Save game. Okay. Did that actually save? Okay, it did. All right. Select the weapon to use and click on the attack item. Okay. Thank you, Pix. We're going to try this out. Having to click on the sword each time instead of it just like remembering, less than ideal. Oh yeah. Of course I do. Heimdall lacks the ability to open doors. Oh, this is not Coco anymore. I should probably update that Jost 80. Um, let me go over to the uh, web here real quick. And boat streams Heimdall. Okay, we got nothing going on over here on the door. Can I hit a key? Maybe I for inventory. And key, use. Bam, Heimdall, save game. This is the Commodore Amiga. Yes, I do. So you can you you can move the cursor with the joystick, but in order to click, you have to use the mouse. No. Yes. Okay. Look at this guy. Weird. So if I switch characters, oh yeah, I want him leading the party. I think that's a whole, like if you look at these things, are these raised or lowered? I guess they're raised up. Alright. 
How much did that hurt me? And I also wonder... Okay, these guys apparently have just not... They're not part of the, the crew. Okay, let's try and... Well, so right-click takes me to the screen. Oh, I see. Food, eat. How do I check my character's vital statistics? That makes sense, Pix. Got my bar stats. That's what I wanted. Okay, so Umar took a little bit of a hit when he fell into that hole. Yeah. Tech stats, bar stats. Weird. Weird way of describing that. Okay, we're done. Anything going on over here? No. Nope. Hmm. Any ideas, chat? I dare not use the scroll. These are only for emergencies. What about spells. Okay. Yeah, it does. It does re recall head over heels. Uh, Picard, for sure. Hmm. Heimdall! Maybe I need a big strong guy to um when I tried to use a spell I was unable. So if I go to use spell because I can't just like click on him. Let's just try using a scroll and see what happens. I can't use this item. Okay. Can I give the scroll I, surely, yeah, you can't drag and drop. What are we talking about here? Hmm. Maybe I need to leave. Maybe this is as far as I can get. Let's go to another island. Let's not step on any of these. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Anguish. Okay, let's try one over here. Which you can't just click on it even though there's no other reason for you to click on the map than moving. But you have to click on this thing first. And then you get this useless pop-up that makes you exit. Here's some goodies. Gimme. Gimme. Oh, that makes sense, Pix. Well, it's time to fight again. Let's see if this guy looks similar or different. He looks similar. I do not wish to run. Oh, no. Nope. 
Okay. There's a key. Nice looking fire there. Distribute. Okay. Thank you. I will. Just for fun, after we save, let's go to distribute. Okay. So scroll. Now let's see if this guy can use the scroll. No, he can't. I thought maybe if he was, since he's a wizard, he can use it, but not the case. Okay. I don't see where food comes into play here, unless it's just like a very slow burn on your hit points. Examine, all right. Oh, okay. Kind of nice. It's uh, this is sort of roguelike. Okay, good to know. Okay, we got to give it to Heimdall. So maybe we'll distribute. distribute right back to Heimdall. I know. I want to I want to distribute this to him. And then we'll give Heimdall the scrolls. Okay. We'll give these to the wizard. I'm sure they will be better used over there. And that's it. Right. Right. That's... <laughs> it's a shame that uh, the instructions are so lacking. Oh, let's save again. We don't want to have to go through all that distribution. Yeah, it's the 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 uh, the veil is starting to be lifted on the the riddle that is Heimdall. Okay, nothing to do here. <laughs> no, no way picks. You can see instructions. I'll never doubt you. All right, moving on back. Look, I got my helmet over there. That means I've been there. I've left my mark. Oh, our buddy's back. And this door is locked again. That's no good. Maybe he's got the key on him. Oh, man. It's harder this time. Hi. 
Heimdall's going to need a replenishment after this fight. So I guess there's a shop going to be somewhere in here too, which is nice. Um, let's go ahead and heal Heimdall. Okay, Heimdall is ready for action now. Okay. Okay, so maybe I need to distribute back that back to Heimdall. Wow, worked like a charm. Good work, Pix. You're the mastermind of that plan. I don't know if I want to mess with this guy. Anything else going on over here? Oh, looks like it's, it's save state time. <laughs> Boy, it's going to be um, it's going to be not so good. Uh, he'll reveal the oh, okay. Must be a, a, an alternative exit, not the way I came in. Um, because if I can't get out of this room, there's no way I'm going to find some hemlock. Come on. Yeah, this would be a, a good game for a Diablo style control scheme where you could just click where you wanted to go. Okay, well, shall we go to the big island? Save state. Seems like it would be it would make sense for the big island to have a town. Oh my gosh, this guy again. Get me out of here. It's in here. That guy, huh? Just surveying the scene here. Possibly use a pit trap spell there later on. It's a very pretty game. Oh, secret hidden trap.
The iconography really reminds me of the Where's Wally books. I remember there was a scroll you had to find there. Where's Waldo, of course, in the States. Yeah, the combat, while not deep, is essential to know about, you know, you want to you wanna attack just as soon as the, uh, the enemy is preparing. Do I dare step on that? I dare with the save state. Ooh. Okay. Well. I'm hoping that the combat becomes more involved later on. <laughs> Heimdall 2. This time the combat's awesome. Yeah, I'll take the scroll. Why not? Oh yeah, I want that dagger. Okay. Ooh. Luckily, the um, falling into a pit doesn't hurt you too, too bad. What are their other games? I can't remember picks. Chuck Rock. Well, here's where I just came from, I think. Well, maybe not. Let's see what kind of scrolls I've been getting. Okay. I'll take it. Oh, that's neat. Secret doors. Okay. Okay. So I, I guess if I need to be real, real dexterous, I can use that. Yeah. Um, Aside from Chuck Rock, which I think we just played Chuck Rock 2 on Amigos. I don't think we played any of those other games. Blob. We have played a lot of Blob. Oh. We have played. No! Oh my. Oh, oh my gosh. Things are not. Looking good for uh, Team Heimdall here. Okay. Let's do a quick health check here. Okay. Heimdall's still doing okay. Yep. 
Yeah, easy to draw, easy to animate. What's up? I'm running a bit low on food, as in I have no food, I don't think. So, that's not good. Heimdall, I can't lose you. You don't actually know if the, uh, the chest had a trap in it, but man, Heimball might be dying here. Heimdall's dead. I should have cut more of that girl's hair in the opening game. That much is clear. Uh-oh. That's not good. What? I guess that was the end of the wizard. Yep. <laughs> well, easy come, easy go. Now it's all down to this guy. Oh, hey, 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 Bill. What's going on, man? It's Heimdall time. I do have some extra keys, although it'll be interesting to know how my, okay, so my items did stay, I guess I'm just dragging around my, um, my dead compatriots, uh, items, but can I distribute that to, okay, so I can give him all these things. Well, Heimdall's with us in spirit. Yeah. yeah, I guess we could just load our last save state. That's probably a good idea. And not, um, man, I was, I was pretty long back there. <laughs> Oh yeah, FSUAE is my favorite by far emulator on the on the Amiga. Um, it's it's uh, the way it handles WHD and load and save states is the best. Do I wish to run? Heck no. Taste my sword. Oh, look at that. That was ultra ESP on my part. Bill, what have you been playing these days? A 
one more knock. Is that uh, is that been released like the full version, or were you playing a preview build the other day on your stream? Oh, a silver key. Okay. Oh wow, I didn't know that that was out for real. Um, we'll definitely have to mention that on the show next week. Oh jeez, I knew that was there, and I fell right into it. Is that a uh, is that a freely downloadable game, Bill, or is that a purchase uh, purchase game? <laughs> Why did I even bother? Okay, we're already back here. Let's go ahead and do another save state. And okay, we're going to attempt to use the silver key here. Or I guess we can attempt to use a normal key first. Okay, cool. I didn't realize that that, was, uh, that debuted at Amiga 34. Were there any other high-profile game releases there that you know about? I think this is this guy's bad news. Well, we just did a save state, so we should be okay. This game is a lot like um, Wild Gunman on the uh, on the on the NES. It's all about reaction time. Did anybody play Wild Gunman? It's, it's a it's an odd game. Um, I actually plan to. I've got a lot of plans, but one of my many plans is to um, do a NES stream of light gun games because I'm, I've got this sweet CRT monitor, and because light gun games are notoriously hard to get going on LCDs, it would be a cool thing to run through all the uh, the classic light gun games on the NES. Of course, now that I've got the uh, Coco uh, Plus Plus Two, um, or not the Coco, sorry. Now that I've got the uh, the one twenty eight uh, Spectrum, I can get that awesome light gun connection that connects through the phone cable or whatever. Yeah, Proxima R is the um, that's the uh, shooter that is uh, exclusive to the Vampire, isn't that right, Bill? I agree. CRT all the way. I don't know if you've seen it, Bill, but I've got right next to me. As I redo my things here, you can see uh, right next to me for here it's a uh, JVC TM A13SU dual NTSC PAL uh, monitor. Uh, it's a super great monitor, probably the best one I've ever owned. Um, and it's just awesome because I can go back and forth between the Speccy and the Atari or whatever on there. Thank you. Okay, what is the? Do you know what I'm talking about though? Do you, there there is some sort of a shooter that is um, that is exclusive to the Vampire or like it's like programmed for like a really high powerful machine that the Vampire is suited towards. What is the, uh, did the Coco light gun have a name like the Mega Blaster or something, Curtis? No. Save state first. Hmm. How much of a hit did I take there, I wonder? Oh, I see. Um, let's see here. 
Yeah. Heimdall. Let's eat some food. I could have sworn that there was a um, there was some sort of a shooter that was going to be available from the vampire team, or it was for it was specifically programmed for Aeros and the a vampirized deal. Hmm, huh, that's interesting. Well, that that's actually good news because that means if I buy a Master System light gun, then I'll have it for this. I can use it for the maybe I can use it for the Specky and the Coco. Yeah, well, I'd also have to hook up MAME to my CRT, and that's... I don't know that that's going to happen anytime soon. Hey, Nick Morantes. How you doing, man? This room looks like a whole bunch of trouble. See, it's like scroll of mania but there's a million traps. You know... Oh. Oh. And just go out the way we came. All right, let's examine these and see what we got here. Pit trap, all right. Oh, really? Nick, what are you the author of, man? Secret doors. Well, that's great. Welcome. Yeah, we were doing some cocoa beforehand, and uh, now we're neck deep in Heimdall. That sounds less than appealing. <laughs> oh, hey, Curtis, um, could you drop that in the uh, cocoa channel on the Discord? I think I might be, I'm not alone in, uh, in interest in that. Uh, the slow Norris may be, want to get on board with that too. Now this this looks freaky right here. This is definitely a save state situation. Oh, a young soldier. Hmm, it's more like a young hobgoblin. All right, of course I'm not running. Heimdall, don't run. I'm not going to die here pretty soon. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, man. He's so fast. He's actually easier to beat than I thought. I thought these guys were like the next level up from the sword and shield guys. Oh yeah, I'll take that jade key. Okay. What's our food situation like, Heimdall? Our food situation is none. It's time to distribute. Sorry, Ormer. Oh. <laughs> okay. We'll give you the gold. Give Heimdall the food. I don't believe your stuff is lame at all, Nick. Uh-oh. Uh Gunstar? Load this up real quick. The Battle for Earth. Holy cow. Man. That's amazing. I'm going to have to look at this stuff more in depth. But I will definitely let Aaron know. Uh, you were here, Nick. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes! I'll take a rune sword and a pouch. Alright. So, oops. Yeah, we'll go save. And 
now I can I need to manage my inventory a little bit because I've got two pouches and that's two more than the world needs what can I do can I take these keys and can I distribute them in the pouch how do you think the pouch works in this game can I examine the pouch all right let's forget about the distribute thing No game with the word donut in it can possibly be lame. This I believe, and this I believe strongly. Okay. We can get rid of the sword. Because we've got a rune sword now. Get rid of the agar. We've got two swords. How many pouches do I have? Just one? Okay, you can never have too many to detect trap scrolls. That's for sure. Okay, we've got the rune sword, got the pouch. So I should be good. I think we're good to go, guys. Oh, let's go ahead and look at that last that last scroll there. Okay. Remember when I said you couldn't have enough detect traps? Well, we're, we're teetering on the brink here. I'm ready to go to the shop. I want to see what I can buy. Oh! Sorry. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that was intense. I got hit with like six arrows in a row. Heimdall, Heimdall, speak to me. What? Amigos Twitter name? Oh, it's at Amigos Retro, Picard 2010. I don't want to speak for Pixels, uh, Nick, but I think that uh, he, he might have just looked at the, uh, the link that Curtis dropped in with all of your games on there. But I could be wrong. Maybe Pixels knows all, sees all of the Cocoa Library. So why, ha why bother having this thing? Oh, you spell. Okay. Now, is that going to make the arrows go away? Of course not. So what that means is I need to do a another spell well no because that didn't make the is there a different let's see oh that's good my bar stats. Let's go ahead and use that right now on Heimdall. Oh, I guess health is not the same as energy. I'm not really sure what energy does for you in this game. Disarm traps. That's what I was looking for that I don't have. Oh, yeah. Well, if you're looking for a promoter, Curtis is your man. Okay. So how should we get through this? I think the first step is to save our game. up here oh man never let it be said that I don't have the skills to pay the bills in Heimdall oh yeah 
I remember both those. That's awesome, Nick. Okay. Yes and yes. And exit. Okay. Then we'll do this. No, this is new to me. This is uh, our, this week's game for Amigos. So I, I'm learning as we go. Um, Pixels has been helpful in the uh, instructions department, but we've all sort of lent a hand in solving these puzzles. Sometimes you just get empty chests. Uh, that arrow is not given up. It was well known enough to get a, a sequel. There's a Heimdall 2 as well. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah. Adamant Axe, yes. However, we are going to load our previous state because I want to empty I want to open this chest with uh, our um, warrior in training here he can take the shock okay and now if we go to, you know, the core design logo reminds me of the Bone comic book logo. It's like the same sort of gradient and stuff. I don't know. Whenever I look at it, that's what I think of. Okay. So the plan now is to distribute all the good stuff to Heimdall. Where's that adamantium axe at? Yeah, yeah. Somehow Heimdall ended up with the admin axe. Yeah, this is a, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the same old Amiga story. It's like we put in this awesome sound chip that you can make all kinds of mod files and stuff. And I mean, how big is a mod file? Why could you not just throw, throw some music back there and then push M to toggle it on and off? So if you get sick of it, you can easily turn it off. Frustrating, but I digress. All right, so I've got both these. I'm gonna. Be, I can't wait to run into this. The next. The next enemy. The ne Heimdall's next enemy is in trouble. All right. First of all, let's do it. Let's do a detract traps. <laughs> that would be great. Although I love footsteps, so I would never turn them off. Detect traps. Oh, that was a waste. I like how you don't have to, like the character you're controlling doesn't have to have, you don't have to play inventory bingo, or that's poor analogy. You don't have to mess around with like switching things around just to get what you want. The game knows what you want. Okay, and this is what I want. I want Heimdall. Yeah, exactly. And I want save state. Let's see. Did that guy... And now the character that is in the lead will take falls from when you fall or will take damage from when you fall into pits. So like if I go here and you can see that that he's taking a bit of a hit. Man, Heimdall is hurting big time. Okay. 
Cool. Now we're ready. Okay, Heimdall is going to make short work of this guy because he's got the rune, he's got the adamant axe and the magic rune sword. Adamant axe. All right, rune sword, you're in. It's a shame that the rune sword doesn't have like a cooler animation or something. It's also a shame that Heimdall is not long for this world. Yeah, I get that way with the uh, the um, both that and of course the uh, Rainbow Islands, uh, somewhere over the rainbow. Oh shoot! Why did I not take that? I want all that stuff. Oh, good thinking. I didn't think about that, picks. It's clear you've played a game or two in your time. Look at that. Look at that. Whoops. Come back to me. Gotta go through all my pouches now. Less than impressed with the Adam and Axe. That's no good. Key. Let's go here. Okay. How about up here? Still got a couple scrolls. Oh shoot. Come on. Oh, that's interesting. Invisibility. And there's that disarm traps that you were talking about, picks. Okay, so I feel like we're in pretty good shape. And now, can we pick up, yep, we can get the food too. Oh, we didn't look, I didn't look at uh, Heimdall's stats here. Heimdall's still not looking great. Let's go ahead and give him one more thing of food. He's worked hard for us. Oh, and let's go ahead and do a secret doors thing too. So detect doors. Oh, waste. I should have done. Oh, jeez. Nope. Oh, okay. That was. I thought I could walk in between there. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, I think that we've gotten a handle on what Heimdall is and what Heimdall could be. Um, I will uh, take another look at this later on this week and maybe uh, skip a, a little bit further ahead in the game just to see what else the game has in store. 
But yeah, it is. <laughs> what's quite ironic. I used the wrong scroll for sure. Um, but yeah, Heimdall. I mean, you know, is, is it a perfect game? No. Is it a great game? No. Uh, but it is interesting. Um, it's something different that we haven't played a lot of games like this. Uh, isometric dungeon crawlers on the Amiga. Uh, it is very similar to uh, you know that isometric perspective that's much more common on the Speccy. Um, speaking of the Speccy, it's time to roll on. It's time to roll on to Wheelie. Oh, see what I did there? So, you know, it's funny. I swear every day of my life, I speak more and more like Aaron Dowdy. But that's what happens when you spend five years doing a show with somebody, I guess. Okay, so here we go. Spectacular. Goodbye, Heimdall. Oh, that's interesting. By growing the window, I'm growing the... Uh... See a bark bit? Keep Sweden awesome. Bark bit, you should run for public office. That can be your, um, your, your, uh, your campaign slogan. I'd vote for you, bark bit. I'm doing this one monitor existence thing. Um, just trying it out because it does sort of open up a lot more room on my desk. Um, but I'm having to juggle some windows as I go here. Oh yeah, definitely. With that beard, you can do anything, man. Okay. So now let's load up wheelie. Anybody played Wheelie in the chat? On Monday, I'm going to be doing a Spectrum stream proper using the uh, DivMMC Future, um, which uh, we just got in the mail from the Future Was 8-Bit a couple days ago. I don't know if you guys have checked out this week's um, Our Sinclair, but we are Officially now sponsored in part by uh, the DivMC feature and I guess not really because it's hard to be sponsored by a piece of plastic, but we're sponsored by um, the future was 8-bit in promotion of the DivMC feature. So pretty cool. Um, I, I haven't had a, a chance to really dig deep and uh, loading up a bunch of different games, but as you can see, as I spin the monitor around even more, beside the arcade machine in that uh, wooden bookcase, the top three shelves are nothing but ZX Spectrum games. Uh, thanks to our uh, listener, Roushi, who sent us uh, the, uh, sent us that, you know, he sent us five boxes of <laughs> <laughs> of software plus the CPC 464, the 128K uh, Speccy plus two, uh, a PAL C64. I'm just looking at them over on this other shelf over here right now. So, um, oh, that's cool, Bill. So you've worked with uh, the Future Was 8-Bit too. That's awesome, man. Was that the summer party that uh, Aaron and I were unable to attend because we had the wrong weekend off? Yeah, man. I want to make sure, are you planning on doing another swag report at the next one picks? I loved watching that video that you did last time. Yeah, we're going to have to make it up next year uh, for, that, for that summer WOG party, um, uh, Bill. I just, it killed me last year uh, not being able to, to, to attend. All right, I got sidetracked. Wheelie. 1983 Microsphere. Let's do this. Welcome to the world of Wheelie. Okay. I'm not against a demonstration. Let's see what you got, Wheelie. Uh, 
So looks like you're All right. Okay. Press A key to play. Oh, uh, okay. Um third row. This is this is a thing that I think um is unique to the spectrum. Um where you have like certain actions are controlled by the row of keys. I remember it like for in, in Frank Bruno's boxing, it was like the top row of keys was one thing and your like bottom row was like the knockout punch or whatever. I don't recall that on any other classic system other than the Specky. Pretty cool. Oh wow, Bill, that is uh, generous for sure. Um, who won the uh, Rodman competition? Do you remember? Okay, so third row to enter keyboard joystick mode. So we need second row for the joystick interface. Okay, and I'm guessing. Oh, I don't have to guess because I've got the specy right here. Right here, it's real. Uh, so the third row would be the Z row, the second row is the A row. Okay, just wanted to make sure. That's awesome, Bill. If you had a holiday party in December, it would depend on what day, Bill. It would depend on what day. Um, I have uh, I have some time off school around uh, around Christmas time. Uh, I think possibly the week, definitely the week of Christmas and possibly the week before. Let's see here. Um, oh, no, I see. I think we, I'll, I'll get from the 23rd through the 3rd off, Bill. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if you have it any time in there, let me know, and I'll, I'll try and make it happen. Okay. So we set that, and bottom row to play. Key in first character of code. Okay. Hmm. Well, the best laid plans with uh, the joystick, etc. What did I do wrong? Let's look at my controls, make sure I have the joystick. Everything looks good. Oh, I've got the sound muted. Yeah! Spectrum sound. So we'll definitely keep that going. Okay, uh, let's re reset this. Okay, let's try this one more time. So third row, oops. Okay. And this is the, oh, that's the, oh, I see. I did it wrong. Okay, and now we're good to go. We should be good. Whoa! This is pretty crazy. Oh, no, I, I did. I pushed up. Look at my guy, he's got infinity above his head. All right, man. Have a good weekend, Bill. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, slow down for the rocks. Got it. Okay, let's try this again.
You gotta speed up a little bit. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh, I wasn't going fast enough. You know, this is really one of those games, I think. It said, uh, sort of, um, it's often said, but I think only the Spectrum could make a game like this possible. When you look at the colors, just the, the bizarre nature of the enemies. I do want to go this way. This seems entirely different than the game that I played before. Are these levels procedurally generated? Nope, nope, nope. Is this No Man's Sky? My fuel is nothing. I was going to say, yeah. I mean, I'm not wrong, right? This is like a totally different game that, or level than the one I played the first time. I don't want to run into that thing. I know that's no good. Got some gas. Nope, nope. Oh, come on. No. Stay stay low. There we go. Oh, I got to jump those cars. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a, oh, oh man, that was super sweet. Um, you know, you've got to go fast enough that you can actually climb the hills. But like you said, yeah, the faster you do it, look at that. There's nothing on the other side of those cars, but a brick wall. Weird. Huh. All right. Well, that was Wheelie. And with that, I am going to say goodnight. It's been a fun couple hours with you guys. Uh, thanks, Pixels, for being here through through thick and thin. Amiga Bill, ghost of Amiga Bill, as he's uh, exited. Uh, Z9K9, thanks for being here. Uh, anybody else that's hanging out still in the chat, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we will see you Friday as we talk about all these wacky games on Amigos. Adios.